Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I recreated a look that Brianna Fox here on YouTube um, did the other day. And so I thought it was so beautiful and I wanted to recreate it. So that is what I am doing today. Also, I wanted to thank all the subscribers from Peter Mon's channel. Um, I had 11 people overnight subscribe to my channel and that means a lot to me. So thank you so much. I hope you take the time to watch my videos. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway at the end of October just for an appreciation. So if you have any friends or anybody who's interested in makeup, please share my videos. It would mean the world to me. I've been doing this for about three months now and I just, I've been putting a lot of work into it. So I just wanted to thank everybody so much. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. If you want to recreate this look with whatever you have, because that's what I did, then yeah, I hope you get some inspiration from it. And let's go ahead and let's get started. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. So um, Brianna started out with um, her face. I'm going to start out with my eyes just because I do better that way. But I am going to go ahead and put on my... Um, my primer first. She used the um, new, believe, um, I'm sorry, I believe, she used the new Rare Beauty um, Liquid Illuminizer uh, Primer. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Magic Lumi. It looks like this and it gives the exact same effect. If you guys have not seen my Selena Gomez review, um, it gives the exact same effect and it's like the third of a price. So I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, I already have one eye done just to save um, save some time. So this um, primer gives, like I said, just a very, very luminous glow to the skin. Um, I've got hair sticking up everywhere. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, start out with the eyes. So she used a Milani um, uh, palette. I'm gonna link her channel below. Um, she used just a Milani palette. I had that one and I cannot find it. I don't know what I did with it. I may have given it to my sister this summer when she came to visit, but these, this is by Wet n Wild. Um, it's their 10 uh, pan eyeshadow palette and it just looks like this. It's got a lot of awesome colors in it for fall. So I'm going to go ahead and she did an all matte look. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take the, um, trans, um, the transition shade here and then this brown color down here. And I am just gonna put that all over my lid, that light, light transition shade, and go in the inner corner here just to brighten things up. And I'm just using the exact same brush for this look. So it's gonna be nice and easy and out the door. And then she also took like a red color, which is just, I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna put that on the outer third just to put a little bit more dimension in and bring it up what I have left over into the eye socket. Back to the skin. So she also used the Believe Beauty um, uh, foundation. So that is what I am also going to use. And I'm gonna shake it up really good here. And I have the color 330 in just looks like this here and I'm gonna of course put it all over my face after that she went in with the believe or I keep saying believe beauty the rare beauty um, concealer and mine is gonna be in 250 W and I just put a little bit under my eye and on my nose and blend it out I usually use concealer I'm lucky I don't have real, real dark circles underneath my eyes. Um, so I just use it mostly to brighten. Um, also, before she came on camera, she already had her eyebrows done. So I just used the Rare Beauty, um, the Rare Beauty, uh, what is it here? It is called the Brow Harmony. So I just used that. Now that we have that, she went into her Fenty Beauty. Um, I have mine in Honey Glaze. Um, it's her, it's the cream bronzer, as you can see. I have been using this all summer. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna take a brush. Sometimes I also use a beauty blender. It just really all depends on what I'm in the mood for. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and stipple some of this on here. Now that we've got our base down, she went ahead and used the, she also, I'm sorry, in her video, she used the Age Rewind. I went ahead and she used, uh, she did not use the Rare Beauty, I'm sorry. She used the Age Rewind underneath her eyes and she used the L'Oreal, um, I forget what it's called. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of this for brightening. It's, I think it's the L'Oreal, the one with the, sh here, let me show you guys. It's the CoverGirl True Blend. I only have this in a contour shade, so she did not use the Rare Beauty. I'm just kidding. She used <laughs> the Age Rewind and the CoverGirl, which are two great concealers. Okay, so next I'm going to use <clears throat> the Rare Beauty Blush. It's the Liquid Blush. I've got mine in Love, and this is very, very, very pigmented, so I'm just going to put a couple dots on my cheeks, and I use a beauty blender to a sponge I should say this is the creme shop and just go ahead and blend this out so she used the MAC strobe light cream um, I've got mine in um, pink light I just am going to use just a little tiny bit because we're going to also go in with highlight a different powder highlight and I'm going to put those right on my cheeks and just use the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of luminosity here before we put on our powder. Okay, off camera, she said she put on the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. I have mine in translucent. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on a brush. Alrighty, so next we're gonna go in with the, I, d I don't have the same um, I think she used maybe like the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer. I'm going to use the um, Hoola Benefit bronzer and just grab my bronzer brush and going to warm it, warm up the outer perimeters of my face like so. Not too much. And then she used um, an e.l.f. Um, what she used? A e.l.f um uh blush i have the patrick ta blush in um she's adorable and i've been loving this blush lately so i'm just gonna take it and blush over what we did Alrighty, and i'm gonna go ahead and use the ofra highlighter again she didn't use all of these exact same products but um she said you could use any of them so we're just giving this the gist of what she used <laughs> so i'm going to take the ofa hi highlighter in star island and going to go ahead and sweep this on my cheeks a little bit on the forehead and then i'm going to take a tiny brush and put some just right up here and a little bit in the inner corner. Okay, and I'm gonna go back into our Wet n Wild palette. I'm gonna finish the lower lash line. Everything is looking, we're looking good, we're looking good. Okay, on to lips. So, I did not have the exact same lip color as her. She used a beautiful, like, orangey kind of terracotta color. And she used only lip liners. But I'm going to use the lip liner in, what is this? Um, Bayou Babe, I think, by Beauty Vault. It's this color right here on the outside. And then by LA Girl, I'm going to use Getaway. And it's this beautiful, like, terracotta color. These are new from LA Girl. Um, they are, I've been trying not to buy a whole lot of lip products just because, um, I'm wearing a mask all the time, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and outline my lips. All right, once I have my lips outlined, I'm just going to kind of smudge it in is the trick that I've always done. And then I'm going to take this really pretty terracotta color and going to go ahead and put it on my lips. 
very very smooth you guys if you're looking for a nice pigmented lip color you can get these at like Dollar General Walmart and they go on they're almost like a satiny um, finish they're they're really pretty alrighty so the only other thing that she did was went ahead and put on some mascara I did not have the same mascara that she did but I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty I got this as a tester the other day and I have just really been liking it so that is it that is a beautiful fall look not true dramatic you know not too sparkly just very cohesive so yeah I hope that you have liked this video I hope you get some inspiration by it um, again I got my inspiration from Brianna Fox and I hope that you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video